I've been trying to get on the show for a very long time, so I'm very excited that they could be here tonight. Please put your hands together and give a warm up to my friend Blair Postman. <laughs>
straps I could wear in my 20s into one of these big ones, like a sports jock strap that I have to wear now, and it's not attractive and I don't feel sexy, would I get the surgery? Would you get the surgery? You would? You would get it. Okay. And I'll leave you on this. Um, I make fun of my husband a bit, and uh, he knows. And um, I'll make fun of myself. When somebody stops drinking, you have to kind of readjust, and your perspective on things is a little warped, and you have to kind of catch up. And here's an example. Um, I like to get my oil changed at Jiffy Loop because not only do they change the oil, but they also vacuum out the cab while you're waiting, and I am lazy. So I enjoy this very much. And I, as I've established, I have very hobby short legs, so my seats are always cranked all the way to the front, and I drive kind of like this. Uh, but they're good, man. They, they push the seats back, and they vacuum out all the nooks and crannies and get all of it. And that means they're always finding stuff. So every time you go, it's kind of like a Cracker Jack box or a treasure hunt. You come back, and you look at the seat next to you, and you're like, oh my god, look, there's that water bottle I lost. Or, oh, look, there's that dude's wedding ring, or whatever. was a drug pipe. And I start to freak out. And I start thinking, oh my god, he's supposed to be sober. And you know what? All of his friends, they're supposed to be sober too. And you know what? You know what? We drove them all around to that wedding last weekend. And I asked them, I asked them before the reception, is it cool if I drank wine? And they said yes. But I guess it wasn't because I drank wine and one of them smoked meth. Because now there's a meth pipe in my car. And I So I got into the pizza bagel shame spiral of anger and distrust and rage and guilt and frustration and guilt and anger and guilt. And I run home and I race up the steps and I confront my husband and I say, what is this? And he says, that is a tire pressure gauge. <laughs> Totally smoke crack into that shit. <laughs> <laughs>